Hi, Kathy here at Creating a Simpler Life. Welcome to our new series, Trees on Our Land. We feel that part of being self-sustainable is knowing what's available right around you for free. So we are identifying and researching each of the trees on our land here in the Adirondacks, and we're going to share what we learned with you in this new series. So welcome. We hope you enjoy it. Today we're going to talk about the Eastern Hemlock also called Suga canadensis. Not to be confused with poison hemlock, which is a completely different low-growing plant. The eastern hemlock is a tall tree growing up to more than 100 feet tall. The tips of each branch droop gracefully. The needles are very small, only one to two centimeters, and lay fairly flat. They have two white stripes on the back side and are attached to the branch with a small stem the cones are very small at three quarter inch maximum. Smallest of them all. Like other conifers, the cones can be used for a variety of crafts. And the inner bark, the cambium layer, can be sliced off, dried, and ground as a flour for breads or soup thickener. The needles also make a tea rich in vitamin C to keep you healthy during flu season. But unlike other conifers, the needles create a dense foliage that provides winter cover for many animals, including deer and turkey. Eastern hemlock is also a much stronger and harder wood than white pine. In fact, it is known as the wood that toughens with age because it actually gets harder over time. It is for that reason that it is considered better to work with when green rather than waiting for it to season or dry. It is considered a good wood for building just about anything and many log homes are still built with eastern hemlock today. We plan on using eastern hemlock logs to build all of our raised bed gardens. The wood can also be burned indoors if it is dried properly, and it is less sappy than pine, so it leaves much less of a mess, which is nice. But it is really great for campfires because it has a nice smell and it has that crackly popping sound. Dead or Dying Hemlock is the home for our native mushroom, the reishi, but it is the bark of the hemlock that holds the most value because it contains 10 to 13 percent tannin. The tannins in the bark form a barrier against microorganisms such as fungi and bacteria. They are also an astringent, meaning that they tighten pores and draw liquids out. So if you get an insect sting, try taking some fresh young bark from a branch or twig, chew it up, and apply it to the location it should feel better within seconds. The bark also makes a great mulch in the garden because of the tannins and its cinnamon red color. And those tannins in the bark have been used for tanning hides for more than a hundred years. It's referred to as bark tanning or vegetable tanning and can still be used for tanning today instead of chemicals. See the link in the description below. Eastern hemlock is a magnificent tree to have on the homestead. Thanks for watching another episode of Trees on Our Land is coming soon.